no eating on the bus. By the time I flopped into my chair with my coat and lunchbox, Mrs MacDonald had already started the talk. The talk happens before every school trip. It goes like this. Blah, blah, best behaviour, yakety yak, representing the school, yana yana, no eating on the bus, etc. Nobody seemed to be listening, apart from Jane Dixon, that is, who is really clever and nice and would never ignore a teacher. Most people were too excited about the trip to concentrate. Plus, we were all in our own clothes, which makes you feel like you're not really at school. And Mrs MacDonald was wearing her own clothes as well. It's really strange seeing a teacher in their out-of-school clothes, like seeing a spotty zebra or a soldier in a pink tutu. We're all used to seeing Mrs MacDonald dressed in a standard teacher outfit. Silk scarf, clumpy shoes, long dress that looks like an old pair of curtains, etc. I'm not trying to be nasty, but today she looked like she'd been dragged through the lost property bin. She was wearing outrageous green and purple leggings, even though she's about a thousand years old. The whitest trainers of all time, a first aid kit bum bag, and a homemade knitted jumper with a massive picture of a guinea pig on the front. In fact, the guinea pig looked more like a cow that had been hit in the face with a frying pan. I only knew that it was a guinea pig because Mrs MacDonald is obsessed with them. Or, as she sometimes calls them, piggy wiggies. She has a guinea pig calendar on the wall with pictures of guinea pigs dressed up as Santa for December, daffodils in March, and this month, a guinea pig doing a bungee jump. There's also a photo of her favourite guinea pig, Mr Wiggles, on her desk, surrounded by all the rosettes and cups he's won at guinea pig contests. Mrs MacDonald even looks a bit like a guinea pig herself. She has a stubby little snout, slightly sticky out front teeth, and great big fat cheeks that may or may not be fooled, filled with half-chewed carrots. Anyway, while she told us to go now because the toilet on the bus is only for the driver, Kevin, the Vomcano Harrison, waved at me from the other side of the room. Psst, Roman, he whispered. Sit next to me on the way. I've got milkshake and a big bag of cola bottles. Hmm, I thought, pretending I hadn't heard him. I think I'll give that a miss. I wasn't trying to be rude, by the way. Kevin's all right. Well, at least when he's not throwing up over all my stuff, that is. Still, I'm not great at maths, but I'm pretty sure that milky drink plus fizzy sweets plus bus ride plus sicky stig equals avoid. Despite this, the mention of food was enough to make my belly rumble. In my lunchbox, there was a delicious, squidgy, splodge raspberry jam donut. I imagined it just sitting there, next to my cheese sandwiches. The sugar stuck to the cling film, the dough all crispy on the outside, and light and soft on the inside. The way the jam would ooze out as I lifted it towards my lips. Oh, I could almost hear it calling to me. Roman, it sang out in a ghostly voice. You know you want to eat me, Roman. I'm so delicious, Roman. Roman, are you listening to me, Roman? Funny, the donut started to sound like Mrs. MacDonald. Roman, Roman, are you... <gasps> Mrs. MacDonald. My eyes snapped open and I wiped the drool from my chin. Mrs. MacDonald was frowning at me. Um, yes, Mrs. MacDonald, I said. Uh, I mean, Mrs. MacDonald. She tutted and shook her head then carried on about how we were definitely not allowed to steal fish from the fish tanks. I tried not to drift off again, but I couldn't get the donut out of my head. Should I take it out and eat it on the bus, I thought. I don't like to make decisions without thinking them through, so I concentrated really carefully for about three milliseconds. I do know that Mrs MacDonald had just said eating on the bus was against the rules, but everyone eats on the bus when they go on school trips. Seriously, when we went swimming the other week, Gamble ate an entire roasted chicken in less than 20 minutes. Don't eat on the bus. It's just one of those things that teachers say that they don't really mean, like, I've got eyes in the back of my head. Or, maths is fun. Or, oh, I was young once. Or at least, that's what I thought. Trying not to let anyone else see 
I slid my coat over my lunchbox and opened it. Then I reached inside, slipped out the donut, and put it into my pocket for the journey. I didn't know at the time, but this was the worst decision I'd ever made. This wasn't just any old raspberry jam donut. This was a donut that would ruin my life. This was a deadly donut. <laughs>